Hello everybody, this is Ranger Fred, and this is the Ranger Coast Show, Live Blubber. Hello, uh, yeah, hello people. <laughs> so, today, we are going to be talking about top five videos this month. We're going to talk about March Madness, and then we're going to talk about some stuff for appreciation. And so, for the top five videos this month. Both me and Blubber have our top five videos with the most views. <coughs> so, do you want to start with what your number five is? Um, yeah, yeah. So, prob for this just from just this month. Yes, anything released from March first to now. Your Mar your okay, number okay, fifth yeah. most viewed video. Well, I haven't really made many from March 1st, but probably number five. Let me see. <laughs> I, I've only made two videos this month. Oh, well, um. <laughs> then I'll, I'll allow it to go to February February 10th. Anything from February 10th to now. So that is a month. Okay, okay. I have actually enough videos for so just for March, five. so. <laughs> Yeah, number five is probably the the mini series video. Ooh, uh, can you tell us a bit about that video? Uh, I don't really, I don't know what to. Don't worry, there's a lot of videos I don't remember yeah. what I fully did. That's yeah. also the problem with. That's why I had a problem with the YouTube weekly. Uh, series I was gonna do was because one I didn't upload a lot right after I made that I did went on break and then <clears throat> most of my videos I didn't remember what I did because I had to deal with the shorts where they only had names and I had no idea what each short was <laughs> and yeah, then like the videos do... I did so many I didn't remember yeah <clears throat> so we should just do um we should just say the videos so I'm not really that's good. I can go into Delt Death and Maya more. My number five most viewed video is Ascendant yeah. SOP Episode 8, The Farm Life. So, <clears throat> this episode, the reason, it, this episode was very simple. I didn't want to really do any building because whenever I do building projects, I don't, it takes longer than 30 minutes, so I can't get finished within the stream. So, it's mostly just me digging stuff or me doing part building and then I finish it afterwards. <clears throat> So with that one, I just went. You know what? I'm gonna go. F I'm gonna go farming. I'm gonna fish a little bit. I'm gonna just kind of get as much money as I can by farming and building my farms. So that's what I did. I started building farms. I went farming a lot, and that was most of my video was just farming. Really fun because I loved farming, and I love how you make money with farming. Really fun in the game, and I really enjoyed it. All right, brother. What is your number four? Uh, how did I die to this? Uh, it was a, it's, a, it's a short. Ah. So you're including shorts with this. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense because you don't play as many videos out. Alright, I'll allow that. Yeah. <coughs> it's just that I don't really... I kind of put out shorts, but I don't really want to come... I don't want to include it because shorts kind of get, get more views than normal videos do. Just because it just gets recommended no matter what. Well, videos actually have to work to get recommended. So if you get a lot on a normal video, that is very hard to do. Usually you need actually a lot of subscribers to even try to get out there. <laughs> yeah. Which is why your best video is amazing. Because I don't know how that became possible. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I don't, I don't like the, um, the, the six places people never go video. I don't even know how that got that many views. Yeah, if that, that was I amazing. Made it way better, if if I knew that it was gonna get that many views, I would have. Uh, it's put probably better that you didn't make it any better, because the way you did it is what people liked. Yeah, I guess it's yeah, that's true. All right, so my number four and my most viewed videos of this month was Ascendant SMP Episode Eleven Underground Expansion. <laughs> this was actually yesterday, uh, not yesterday's, the day before stream where <coughs> I had to mine out 
a new basement area and add the <coughs> elevators for a new MVP area, VIP plus area. So when I get MVP or when someone else has like things that they want to add, they can only get like heads and map arts are one of the two biggest things. And I think there's some other stuff they can only get well VIP, VIP or MVP. So with that stuff, that's where once I get MVP, I'm gonna put all my map arts down there. All my map arts, any heads that I can get, because they're only fifteen dollars, I can place them up that down there, and I'll become a full on nice little art museum. And it's gonna come out really nice. If you guys haven't seen it, go check out uh, <coughs> Underground Expansion uh, Part 2, which is actually came out today. By the time you're watching this on YouTube, if you guys didn't know, you guys can always watch any of the past streams or any of the past uh, <coughs> podcasts on the channel. It's on YouTube. They're, I'm never deleting them. They're always going to be there. And I really enjoy the support from that. All right, what is your number third? Number three. My number three video is what are the chances where I somehow got the one of the rarest drops in the game. It's like 0 0.000001 percent or something. Ooh, <laughs> nice. <coughs> All right, my third <coughs> place video with, with most viewed is actually one I did yesterday <coughs> which was Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 1 win. <coughs> Since I don't really do many videos of Fortnite anymore I kind of just post it if I get a win or when I'm doing a battle pass season or event overview or watching like just watching a live event <coughs> and that's really it. So to see a Fortnite video get a lot of views like the Fortnite videos are giving me a lot of views and I didn't even realize it would I actually almost got a solo win with like 13 kills and then at the end someone the reason we won in the this this video was because I was able to actually kill a guy that was doing a Deku smash but in that solo game I was an idiot and forgot to shoot the guy doing the Deku smash and I died to, to it even though I had to attack AR which would have killed him and I would have had a video before this one that would have been first solo win recorded because I actually didn't get a solo win before. My friend actually did on my account got a solo win. So that would have been my first. But that was my second duo win, I think, and my first recorded one. <coughs> Alright, what is your second place of most viewed? Second place most viewed? Um, most viewed or of the month? Of the month, I'm saying, like the most viewed in the month. Um, let me see. Most viewed in the month was, uh, let me see. Oh, all champion abilities ranked. <coughs> nice, nice, nice. <coughs> My second place for most viewed this month is Ascendant SMP Episode 10, the new Trade Center. <coughs> so. The Trade Center is something I was working on for a while. It was in Narampa's block, uh, a name based on one of my friends, Narampa, which I have not really talked to. I actually talked to for the first time since no, since my birthday in November. So it's been a long time since I talked to them, so I, I named it after them. <coughs> and then I added a two inside areas, which I started working on more to it in today's stream, which will be coming out tomorrow. Uh, for the video, but I it was really fun to make it because then I made a P warp there to show off the new trade star so people could set up shop there for 500 in the two small shops, and then it's 1000 to get the entire plot to set up a giant store if you wanted to because the entire plot can hold a lot of stuff to sell so. That I put it as worth as a thousand because you can make a lot more there because the P warp is free. All right, what is your top number one and your most viewed video in the month? Um, I just noticed that the one I just did before was the most viewed, so 
I'll, I'll, I'll just do the second most viewed then. You forgot. Uh, my newest. <laughs> Yeah, my my newest video I just uploaded the things in Breath of the Wild that don't make sense. Well, I guess that we both have something similar about it. <coughs> with our number one being Fortnite Chapter Four Season Two Battle Pass Overview, which literally came out today because it, I was uh, I woke up, I kept trying to get in the game, took forever because I kept not responding, kept queuing for a long time, and then it finally loaded in. So I, I was able to record it only really like 20 minutes uh, yeah. of showing it, or like 10 minutes of showing it off, and well, came out really nice. People loved it. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, that is it for the top five videos this month. Now we're moving on to the March Madness. <clears throat> so this is mostly... Uh, this first part of March Madness is mostly going to be talking about my previous March Madness. Back in 2018. <laughs> and, five uh, also, years. Yeah? Um, I might, uh, add that I'm going to be doing the thing later this year. That's going to be later. Yeah. I'll, I'll say that after you're done. There's a, there's a thing for that later on. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, in, back in 2018, <coughs> I, there, we, in our school, they had, were talking about March Madness and basketball, and about, like, what our picks are. What, what would we pick to get through the rounds in March Madness? <laughs> so, during that time, I went, you know what, if there's a March Madness thing happening in, uh, basketball, why not make a uh, March Madness for my channel? Why not do a video every day, basically? Just do every stream and video I did was all based on March Madness. So I did a bunch of Fortnite streams and videos. I put a lot of time into it. I did so many throughout that month that I I actually had to go back to try to put it into the playlist. I didn't get all the videos because there's so many Fortnite videos I did for March Madness. I just didn't want to go through them all. So many. Probably did like 30 to 40 different Fortnite streams and videos all together. All mm. just for March Madness. And that was so many that I just couldn't write it all. <coughs> now we're going to move on to this year's. <coughs> so we had this year's, it's been Ascendant SMP. And that's what my main thing has been where March Madness is just me doing a bunch of one series. So this year's series, 2023 series, is, is going to be focused around Ascendant SMP. So I w wanted to make March Madness the point where I could do a bunch of streams and videos of it. Because I won't be able to do it like this until the summer. April, we have a week, I'll be able to do it. But other than that, I'm not doing it until the summer. When I finally get to the summer... I'll be able to do more videos, but March Madness has been able to give me time to be able to actually do a lot and get to show you guys what I like to do, show you guys stuff I've been trying to do, and stuff I've been working on, so you guys can see what the future of my channel for the year is. <coughs> so I've been really enjoying it, and I want to put out the question to you, Blubber, is <coughs> will you do something for March Madness this year? So... Pro I probably won't not do anything in March, but later this year, uh, on the day that my channel um, started, as October 29th, I'm going to do a week straight of uh, videos and shorts. So every day for a week, I'm going to do a video and a short for the whole week. Do you do shorts daily right now or no? Uh... No, because I'm starting to, um, try new editing stuff. Then, do, for just, all you have to do for March Madness is maybe make it where this month only you do a bunch of shorts, uh, daily. Right, you don't have to do it, uh, like that until, you know, that week later, uh, later on. But for all March, daily, send out a short, get, get yeah. the attention, because if you keep waiting... People are going to start losing interest. That's why if you then start doing for like 
like if you do once a month, one month a month, every year, where you're just gonna do it every day, you're gonna bring that attention back, and then you have it staggered around for the rest of the year, and then you come back to March, and then you start doing the daily, and that's gonna bring people back, cause then they're gonna be like, oh, there's a bunch of videos coming from the, from the person I used to watch. And then they're going to start watching it all again, and they're going to binge it, and they're going to see it all, and they're going to be like, okay, I should watch them again. Yeah. And that's why I like, that's another reason why I like doing March Madness, is because during March Madness, people say March can be, yeah, it, it's Irish, look at the Irish and stuff. <laughs> but yeah. it, it becomes very unlucky. March has been very unlucky, no matter how much it's coordinated. It's now Irish uh, American History Month, and it's still an unlucky month. So, for me to be able to post these videos, so people can be able to watch it when they're in the most unluckiest times, be able to watch these videos, and just have something to do when everything else is failing, they can be able to be able to still watch this stuff, and still have fun, and still have their have the freedom of doing what they want, and be able to watch what they want, without any worry about something unlucky happening or something bad happening just relax just watch videos relax have fun be entertained I, I, I really love being out there for the people <clears throat> now we're gonna be talking about next year's March Madness <clears throat> so as you guys know 2023 is Ascendant S&P that is the main series I don't know what I will really come, what my next series will be, or if I'm gonna continue to have 2024 be all about us and SP, or if I'm gonna make half of 2024 be about us and SP, or just be in 2024 it will be sporadic as I'm gonna be focused on another series. I don't know, but that whatever main series I'm doing by that point, it's a series I'll do in March. This was more, the reason I'm more focused on this and an S&P for March, this year for March Madness, is because I don't really have other games I can really focus on as much, because right now is when it's really fun, because it's, it's in the beginning of the series, and I can put a lot of time and effort into it, but when it gets later on, it might be harder to be able to put out the videos, because it's just going to be some of the same things I've done before. It's really hard to do new stuff when you're doing uh, games for so long. So be, that's why I've been lately trying to do different blocks and try out different things so I can try out to make new buildings and stuff with different uh, ideas and different blocks to make my creativity get bigger and make new things so it's not the same. <coughs> and that's why I've really been proud. I just noticed something. After, yeah? after May 12th, I'm gonna basically have content for the rest of the year because of Tears of the Kingdom. Ah, that. That's <clears> it. <laughs> yeah, that that's gonna. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> I don't really have any other games I can really do right now because <clears throat> like, I have my Xbox, but I'm not gonna really stream that stuff because that's just. That's just kind of things I do on the side, right? My PS4, I used to have so many things on it, but I don't really do as much on it anymore because I just play the games for myself. I don't really want to be doing recordings on it. I like doing recordings on my computer because I actually have the stuff for it, the software, the way to edit it. I have the way to set what I, what my voice will be, what the sounds will be, the set, uh, sound design, the production. I can set all that on my computer that I can't do on my PS4 or Xbox, and which is why I really like playing on this. But whenever I do other games on my uh, PC, no one watches it. No one gets entertained by it. But then if I do it, if I would do Minecraft, everyone watches it. <laughs> so Minecraft has been my main main thing. It might be my main thing for a long time. Probably we'll do Minecraft next uh, March Madness. But it might not be a SNSP. It might just be a different SNSP. might be a uh, like Hypixel. It could be anything. I don't really know, but... Most likely gonna be Minecraft, unless I can find another game that you guys will like to watch by that point. <clears throat> and now, Bubber, do you wanna want us to continue to now the third topic of appreciation? Uh, yeah, I'll just say one more thing real quick. It because it's, it's hard to make uh right now Breath of the Wild videos because 
pretty much everything has been covered already. Because the game has been out for six years. So there's yeah. not much content I can take from it until Gears of Kingdom comes out. Yeah. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Appreciation. So, <coughs> the first thing is about the effort and stuff that we put into, like, our merch and our image. <coughs> what we put out to you guys compared to what we are as a person. <coughs> I am a person that don't really like to show my face as much. I did it for a little bit, and then I got rid of all those videos. <coughs> I don't really like showing my face. I like being someone behind the screen with a character representing myself in the game, but not out here. <coughs> because a character in here, I can actually be able to edit and actually make it the way I want it to. Compared to something that I am out here that I can't really change. <coughs> and I made designs and stuff for like merch where I have... The purple four leaf cover for uh for Irish Pride. That is our newest merch line made for March. <laughs> which will be which is the lowest price anything can be. Because it will not I will make no profits from anything that is sold that was created in March. <laughs> and hopefully I see some people wearing like the hats or wearing the shirts. And I say the hat's the best. I really love the four, the purple four-leaf clover <coughs> hat embroidery because it looks really cool, looks really nice, and I'm going to be getting it whenever I can. It's a really good design. <coughs> I also have like the 2023 releases, the February, January releases, and then the, the December releases that came out. That, that stuff, most of that I don't make money from, but it's just stuff to show that you guys support me. You guys will wear the merch. And we also have the, uh, and that was all on Streamlabs. We have the T Public merch, which is more, which is money that any money we make from that will go to Blubber. Blubber gets any money from T Public if people buy merch from there. <coughs> I haven't added any new designs there in ages. If he ever wants to make a design and he wants it on a shirt, I can put it on T Public and that that can go to him. He can also then make a Streamlabs account if he wants and put his own stuff there where he can customize what it goes on, where it gets put, what like how he wants the design to look on it, and if he wants it on the sides, front or back, something you can't do in T Public. And that will be his own shop. He can set whatever places he wants. He can. Put it as high or as low. See, make out, see how much money he wants to make it. And it'll be his own personal store. And what, what are your thoughts on that idea? Um, on my, on a merch store for me? The sign up for Streamlabs. The, the set up a merch store in it. Like what I have. Yeah. Hmm, I probably won't do that. Un until a certain subscriber amount, but cause, uh, speaking about streams, I still haven't um, figured out how to. Well, I know how to do it, but because I really want to live stream, but I don't ha have like a good working computer to live stream on. So it's 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 hard trying to figure out how to. I can't. Yeah, I, I can't do it on mobile either, because I need. I would need to use a capture card. Yeah. Well, you can do it on mobile. Yeah, but I can't. Twitch. I can't stream. Twitch allows you to stream uh mobile. Yeah, but I'm not. I don't. <laughs> I'm talking about streaming Zelda. Oh well, you said mobile, so. I'm. I said I'm. Oh, I'm only on mobile, I'm pretty sure. Or yeah, but you can stream on mobile if you needed to. If you want to. You can, yeah. you can, because with yeah. tw how Twitch works is you can stream on the Twitch and then you can go on the Twitch and you can download the video. And there's also a thing that says to directly export it to YouTube. So I'll automatically send all the information to YouTube and I'll automatically post it for you. So okay. then your so then your stream will be able to be seen on uh, YouTube.
but you actually have to have a setting that is set that basically says, hey, I want to keep my streams out for seven days. Because I think you can actually have it, I think it starts off where it'll delete your stream after you stream, but you can turn the setting on to keep it for seven days. <laughs> so yeah. then you have enough time to be able to send it over. <clears throat> so now we're going to go on the second part. Which is now we're going to be talking about my co-host. It's going to be mo this second part of the segment is talking about Blubber, like his videos, how he's doing, and what 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 some of the things he does uh the get to the point he's at now, and appreciate how much work he's put into it to make a quarter million total views on his channel. Within two months of his channel's creation, he made a quarter million total views. Actually, how many? I don't even know how many you have right now. I could probably check it. While I check yeah. it, do you want to talk about your talk about like what you have been doing, what you put into your channel, and some of that stuff? Yeah, I can. I can check. Right now? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I'm right now thought, going to your oh, channel I, to check I your thought, stuff. I thought you were going to go look at the views. I thought you were going to look at the views first. Right? I am. That's why you're ta uh, You're supposed to talk as I was looking. But. Oh. oh. <laughs> I've, I'm here now. You now have 1,321 current subscribers with. Let me check your. <laughs> Let's see how many you have in lifetime. 280,000, about almost 281,000 views, total views, on your entire channel. You have, you've gotten about 21, so your huge ghost spurt was about January, yeah, January 18th to, uh, Jan January 30th. So, Cause you've yeah. gotten the highest you've gotten in one day was twenty one thousand views, which is pretty crazy. You also have yeah. five point two thousand watch hours. You can literally monetize your channel, uh, whenever you can make an AdSense account, which is crazy. Yeah. I re I really want to. I'm trying to get monetized, but I don't have a. A AdSense account or like a credit card or anything. And let's appreciate. <coughs> actually, wait. One thing is, I just realized YouTube actually has a podcast. <laughs> the, wait, the actually? They have a podcast thing, so I can oh, upload no. all. I can put all my uh, podcast videos here. That's actually pretty nice, which will be actually really oh, good. I, I thought you're talking about like. When you go to upload videos, a podcast option where you can live stream a podcast. Uh, there's literally okay. a thing. New podcast. Existing kind of uh, are uploading new videos. There's literally a podcast thing right next to playlist, which is brand new, which is really cool. But can we just appreciate how almost every single video Blubber has done has gotten more than a thousand views? There's just some that have less than a thousand, but the... But you see how many comments they have. He has more than a thousand views almost every time. Hundred likes, seventy-eight likes, forty-three likes, three hundred and eighty-five likes. He has been getting so many, seven hundred and seventy-five likes on some of his videos. Like, and then the six four thousand five hundred and eleven <laughs> likes. Like, blah. With, with 303 comments. And 144,940 views on one video. For a channel that came out in October of 29th. And the video came out on January 11th. Two months. And he already has, had gotten so many views on his video. Sometimes I wonder how how he does so well, and I've been stuck at where I am now. It's it was mainly oh gosh, worst <laughs> worst track ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was mainly from that one that one short. The I never knew this in Breath of the Wild. Yeah. That 
that got a bunch of views, then people started watching um, my normal videos. And then they would see the shorts again and watch more of the videos. Yeah. And then I just kept, yeah. And uh, now on to our last segment. Uh, before we end this uh, podcast is talk about our recent efforts. <coughs> Recently, like in March Madness, I've been, I took a break uh, in February because I needed time to f- do deal with school and with all this other stuff around and I just needed time to get out there. But then I realized something. I miss doing these streams. I miss doing the videos for, to entertain people. And so that took over me and I decided to come back during vacation and after vacation in March I went you know what people wanted me to do March Madness so because of it why not use this opportunity to come back to doing YouTube again and doing Twitch so I've been doing that in March and I'm so happy I'm doing it people are watching people are being entertained even I entertain myself with it because then after it gets uploaded to YouTube, I listen to it in school and it's very nice to just listen to in the background. I don't even really watch the video. I listen to it. It's just really nice to listen. That's why I like yeah. the podcast. It's really nice to just listen to it without video. <laughs> so... This will be the end of this podcast. Thank you, brother, for being able to being uh be able to join us today and this and for March. And I'm so and proud of you. You now see, see you guys next time. Good. Bye. Bye. Bye.